My name is Ellery and I am a, a filmmaker from Imperia, a lovely Italian city near the Mediterranean Sea and the Alps. I'm a filmmaker and I'm here to share with you the passion for my ja for Japanese book block print that I embraced and uh, to which I opened my heart in uh, 1992, uh, 25 years ago, thanks to my master Lucustro Giovanni Berio that you see here, and uh, he was my um, teacher for Mokohanga and uh, a real original Italian maestro. But then uh, I had the great opportunity to meet Lucustro and I was at first accepted and I introduced uh, uh, in the Wizard Atelier as a guest. Uh, I was uh, just a teenager and uh, several years later I became uh, an official uh, apprentice and worked with him. And uh, after many years working together, uh, since uh, 2009, I became his uh, uh, one and only printer. All the Gustos print since uh, 2009 have been printed by myself and also we could cut together all the wood blocks. It has been an immense honor for me and a joy of course and uh, today it uh, uh, is my, my job. After um, more than 20 years of often work with uh, Ligustro, I started uh, three years ago my, my own printmaking studio, also located in Imperia. And uh, the law for Mokuhanga is growing day after day in Italy. And uh, all of you are very welcome to visit me in Imperia and also the new gallery uh, opening next November, uh, which will host uh, one week each month, uh, a permanent Ligusto solo show. Focus it time after time on uh, drawing um, and a lot of other pieces of art or, from my master. My <coughs> voyage with Ligusto didn't stop on December 20, 2015 when at the age of 22, he passed away. Today, here, we are together talking about him and the, and the dream continues. I took on the challenge, myself and the Ligustro's daughter and sons, Annalisa, Francesco and Giuseppe, to share and to show to as many people as possible how extraordinary the Gusto was as a maestro and how astonishingly beautiful his master's piece are. We are sure you will fall in love with uh, the colorful, colorful and luxury Le Gusto print style. But allow me to explain more. Let's take a step back. Who was, who was my master? Imagine a man that uh, born in Italy in 1924 when went uh, throughout the Second World War in his young age and uh, then took all of his life as a chemical technician inside the olive oil industry who at the age of uh, 62, after a heavy heart attack and the coma that followed, embraced a complete life, life change. He discovered for the first time in his life uh, drawing, uh, he discovered the art for the first time in his life at the age of 62. And drawing at first, then painting and dedicated himself to the study of art and artists. He became passionate about impressionism and over 30 years ago, he started talking 
about the passion for the Japanese culture, art, and lifestyle of the late 19th century in Europe. He understood the Japanese, which existed, and the great influence it had on important European cities and countries like Paris and London initially, Germany and Austria later. He was able to catch the Japanese effect on visual art and painters too. Ligustro was keen on studying, researching, and mastering all about the subject he was passionate about. To better understand the Japanese, he decided to learn more and, the, and the, to depend the Japanese art and the Japanese artist. He went to visit the Kesone Oriental Art Museum in Genoa. Incredibly, the most important museum of Japanese art was only one hour away from Imperia and Hin. He was fascinated by the magnificence and technical perfection of Mokuhanga prints. Like uh, a challenge to himself, because the staff of Kyosone Museum expl explained to him that it would uh, be quite impossible for a Western artist to become a Mokuhanga printmaker, he decided to embrace Mokuhanga and carefully analyzed the prints displayed at the museum. As you can easily imagine, he became the first constant visitor of the museum. Each week, he went to see and to study the print and became a friend and very well known uh, by the whole staff of museum. They showed him also some special prints from the collection, not otherwise exhibited to the public. Since 1986, he was dedicated his, himself exclusively to the study and production of Japanese color, color woodblock printing and the Nishikiya technique, te techniques in use during the Edo period. Ligustro started creating prints hand pulled by Baron on washi paper as a self-taught artist. He never went to Japan, nor any more trusted him the, the practical method for Mokuanga. No one explained to him how to put the wood blocks. He did not have any of the special and highly performant Japanese tools like knives or carver, but used to make his own artisanal tools, named ferry or irons in English. No one explained to him how to make it a self-made barren, how to use it to print, how to make colors from pigment, but he was a specialist in chemistry and research so he started making an impressive number of experiments to obtain the same effect he has seen at the museum. Japanese television came several times to Imperia to interview Legustro, who was featured in 1995 on the Japanese magazine Marco. And uh, in the television program My Miracles, do exist, aired on December 3rd, 1997, between 7 and 8 p.m. If interested, of course, is only in Japanese language. I can send you the original of the, the program. During our long stay at work at the atelier, sorry, Ligustro described to me all gestures, technical secrets, and specific methods used by Japanese engravers and printmakers. And I looked, learned, and figured all of it in my mind as well, wondering myself, wondering mm, myself how he could know that much about Mokuanga printing technique and the engravers and printmaker um, lifestyle. I was so surprised that last January, while watching a movie for the first time in my life, 
produced uh, by the Adachi Foundation of the Wood Park Printing during my visit in Milano of the show Follow the Way that you see here focused on Utamaro, Hiroshige, and uh, Hokusai, around 200 masterpieces, all from our next door Honolulu Museum of Art. I saw replicated on the screen gesture, techniques, and methods Ligustro was talking about, and then I finally understood the title of the article uh, on the Japanese magazine Marco as published in 1995. Hokusai, a reincarnation in Genova. And 22 years later, I can say, yes, he was. <laughs> De Gustro gave lectures and practical demonstration to bring this highly styled artistic technique and his fascinating history to the general European public. Between a lot of events, exhibition, and solo show during the last 30 years, I will focus on uh, the one organized by the Embassy of Japan in Belgium uh, in uh, 23 in Brussels, Aomori or Luguria, between Japanese extreme East and Italian extreme west. <laughs> Moreover, the big echo of a one day only Ligustro solo show in Rome last October, almost one year ago, had this exhibit organized by Francesco Berio had the patronage of the Embassy of Japan and Italy, the Italy Japan Foundation, and a lot of other establishment to celebrate and also the Ministry of Art and Culture and the, the foundation to celebrate the 1,005th anniversary of friendly relationship between Italy and Japan. This exhibit organized by Francesco Berio had the patronage of the Embassy of Japan in Italy. Uh, it took place at the Central Archive of the Italian state in Rome, in which uh, the original of the treaty was displayed, seen by Italy and Japan, uh, was showed for the first ever time in honor to Legustro's work. A lot of people came to visit this wonderful one-day show. 60 masterpieces were displayed, and a lot, and a lot of uh, the Gustro's enthusiasts and supporters make this show unforgettable. The concert of Japanese bed, three Ikebana schools, the tea ceremony, school and national association of Aikido, origami, calligraphy, sumie, and the manga were all together in the same place at the same time for the Gustro and Japan. The Gustro received great appreciation from art experts and critics. Um, the full version are avail available at the uh, website uh, www.legustro.it. Today I want to point out only on two of them. Jack Hillier, author and expert for Sotheby's London, uh, specialized in Eastern art, he had uh, a great esteem of for the Gusto and all the original letter between the Gusto and Jack Hiller are now actually property of the municipality of Imperia City. The Gusto made the print Jack Mary Hiller's doll, Mary Hiller's dolls, and donated it to Jack Hiller's wife. And also the professor Fukuda Katsuhiko, born in Osaka in 1929, Professor at University of Kanazawa. He was been one of most important experts on the Japanese art and also about Shunga prints of Japan, China, and India. Um, and a lot, a lot, a lot of book he wrote uh, during the last uh, 50 years. The Gusto made around, he's an Italian critic, 
he also made around uh, 300 different woodcut prints. Some have an extraordinary dimension of two meters square and the unbelievable number of 480 different colors. He was fascinated by the magnificence of the lax embellishment technique, especially used in Japan for Surimono and Shunga, and in each of his print, he used a lot of his technique. This is Lindsay Kane. Kane. He, a friend of Igusto, and he is a, an artist, a dancer. No photo could ever hope to match the timeless Baroque beauty of Igusto's work. They are an, out, an extraordinary example of these antique and fine embellishment techniques. In honor to of the great maestro Legusto, I encourage every modern artist and print, printer to rediscover, use, and include in today's works the, the ancient luxury techniques of Japan woodblock printing, such as Bukashi, Jindei, Jinsunabu, Hirazuri, Karazuri, Hinakomi, Jindei, Hinpaku, Hinsunabu, Mokotsu, Tabibori, Hirae, Uruzei, Nuno Mezuri, Fekin, Suya Tsuri, Fukinohan. And uh, uh, I have some um, original prints of Ligusto from my collection. And uh, I take some photo to show big screen how, how the light patch on the surface and uh, as you can see here there is a floor the kirazuri is the um, uh, a technique named also gofrage and uh, he made a uh, three-dimensional effect on the on the paper and you can see here the front that have all the three-dimensional effect. But from, from, from the front, you cannot see it. And also in another print, there was a, this is a, a bird from the sea all along the, the, the layer and uh, you can see the three-dimensional effect that is made. This technique Kiradzuri did not utilize pigment. The effect is created by pressure alone, without color, in order to create the relief and three-dimensional tree. And uh, it is made by uh, carving a special wood block ex uh, only for doing it. Kimekomi is exactly the reverse of Kiradzuri. So here there is an the relief is uh, on the other sense. This is another print from the Gustro, and uh, from the front you can see nothing, but if you change the animation here, you can see the Nishibiki. Uh, it is a, a method uh, used uh, for, to help with a bluey varnish. And also here, you can see the kindei, uh, the color given by powdered gold to cover small area 
and of the prints which decorative motifs. On there, all the line are in the cotton border. This is the print for many years. And here you can see the rose. Uh, a part of the print is covered by lacquer. Here on little hair. And also the table. This one is the, the print where the art appeared with the three dimensional effect. And also Kimpaku did the same print. Just a moment. Did the same print. On the front you cannot see nothing, but all this side is in order. And it is a really big area. And this is uh, the Kimpaku style. All the things. This is another print, sorry for showing it uh, horizontal, yeah. like my, <laughs> 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 but uh, I'm not so good with program and I wasn't able to turn it vertical. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, but now it's bigger than um, vertical, so <laughs> you can enjoy better. <laughs> and uh, here you can see the Kinsunago is a, a technique made with the gold flakes and powdered uh, scatter on the surface and it uh, creates effect of light in the individual part or create a, a, a in this way all print may uh, are is made identical because there is a a, 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 a block a block carved exactly to make this effect. And uh, also, uh, Kirazuri, it is, uh, this is all in the print with the bird, the sea bird on the lake. Uh, and this is the all Nika print that made the brilliance on the, on the, on the print. And the name is uh, Kirazuri. And uh, you see, you can see here also the light of the with gold. Bokashi and Vita Bokashi, I think all people know it, but there are some different uh, Bokashi and Vita Bokashi style. So you can, it is possible to make the gradation vertical, horizontal from a side from the external line uh, to the center and from the center to the external. And also the jindai is the use of the power of the silver to highlight fine details in the print, like the, the gold, but with the silver. Uh, Jinsunago is a silver flakes and power scattered on the surface, like the gold, but with silver. Okotsu is a types of painting uh, or engraving involving painting figure, figures without creating outlines. And uh, Ligusto named it uh, work without bones. And Sabi Boy is a method of engraving used to create the effect of brush strokes in Japanese, Japanese calligraphy. Uh, he really loved uh, to include uh, the calligraphy in his uh, prints, and uh, also uh, he had some friend, a friend, a lady from Japan living in Italy, and she was a really good calligrapher, and uh, make uh, this for him. Here you can see the little scope and uh, a lot of technique, not with Mesha because uh, So I present you this. This is all with Nika and the silver and other fur. And uh, also my best preferred, the uh, 
your sons and daughter give me as a present uh, after the Gusson passed away. And this is uh, Kalura. And uh, it's a uh, little, but I really, really love it. And uh, it had really a lot of uh, different uh, last techniques. And uh, also the, the transparency that you can see in the body because of the ombra of umbrella and also he really really liked uh, the, the butterflies and this is uh, two of the three uh, inside there was uh, another print that is not possible to show here because the uh, FedEx uh, lost it uh, during the transport. And uh, unfortunately, I hope in two or five years I have it back, but I don't know. Uh, it, it must be exposed at the show, but you have the other two parts you have to see. Surazuri is a surface, surface polishing or varnishing, and they make uh, like a silk or lacquer. And there is another one, the Kretin is the, the system to miniaturize the, the print, and it was made uh, by a press. And the last one, Fukibotan, was a spray technique to make a spray gopi, the spray effect to represent the dust uh, or snow and scale. Okay. Did you did you sort of discover all these techni techniques by himself or did yes. you have reference? Yes. Not. But how did you know the Japanese word? Because he started to study the, the art in Europe and he discovered impressionist yeah. and uh, on the impressionist uh, uh, painting there was uh, there was uh, the bank uh, uh, to reproduce the, the Japanese print and uh, also they made uh, some dress uh, it was uh, really popular at the end of the uh, 19th uh, century the Jate and uh, people make be crazy for Jate and all people like loves uh, the printing and uh, the gusto taught me that uh, uh, the Japanese printing came in Europe first time because of uh, they used to cover with uh, the commercial prints all the, the cups of ceramics that they sent from Japan to Europe and uh, so day after day someone looks at uh, these prints and love it and uh, start to have interest. And uh, with, uh, uh, with Impressionist, he discovered the Japanese, but, uh, that they take a lot from Japan and uh, he was so interested in uh, discover what uh, Japanese art was. So he started to, to 
see where the museum was, and there was a museum in uh, Genova, and he went to visit the museum uh, each time he can, and uh, with this uh, he, he started to, to see from the, directly from the, the, the prints, uh, he, he see that was the, the gold uh, and all the things, uh, and he decided to have 